right, got number 13? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a little bit different than what the last worksheet that we were looking on. And to do one of these problems, what's going to be different about it, is we first, before we start solving, we need to make sure we simplify, and we also need to make sure we get our variables on the same side. All right, in the previous examples, we had the variable on one side, and you just did inverse operations. Here, you notice we have two variables, and they're both on different sides of the equation. So what we need to do is we need to simplify by applying order of operations first, get our variable on the same side, then we can apply our two-step um, solving technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is I apply, apply my order of operations. I look side, inside my parentheses. But since these are not like terms, one, one has a variable and one is an integer, we cannot combine them. So the next thing is, I don't see any powers, so the next thing I'm going to look for is multiplication and division. And I know that when I have a number outside my parentheses, I can apply distributive property. So remember, I distribute both of my terms to both values inside there. Therefore, I have 6 times negative 3v is a negative 18v. 6 times 1 is a positive 6 equals negative 10v minus 10. Okay, so you distribute across there to simplify it. Now the next thing we need to do is we have to get the variable to one side. And we have to get one variable. When we're solving linear equations, we have to be able to get one variable that we can isolate. So what I need to do is I need to decide which, which side am I going to get my variable on, either the left side or on the right side. Thank you. Um, and usually what's, what's, what I like to uh, do is get it over to the larger value with my variable. Since negative 18v is less than negative 10v, I'm going to add 18v to both sides. The reason why I will eliminate the smaller of my numbers with the variable is because then it's going to make this positive. So therefore, now my equation, negative 18 plus 18v is going to be 0v, which is 0. 0 plus 6 is just equal to 6. So I have 6, negative 10b, 10b plus 18b is 8b minus 10. Now, you guys can see, what do I have? I now have a two-step equation, just like the homework that we previously had. right? Now, two-step equations, we just undo addition and subtraction first, and then we undo multiplication and division. So to undo addition and subtraction, we notice that my v is being subtracted by 10, so I add a 10. So therefore, I have 16 equals 8v. Now I undo multiplication by dividing. And therefore, I have 2 equals v. And then I just rewrite it as v equals 2. Any for both of us. 